everybody. I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome to VO Buzz Weekly, the web entertainment show dedicated to the voiceover business. That's right. And on today's show, we have part two of the Rob Paulson interview. And let's just go there now. Let's go. Yeah. So, Rob, I have a, I have a kind of a cool question for you. Good. Love cool questions. If, if you could have been told something early on in your career. Mm -hmm. That you weren't. That you weren't. Obviously. Okay. All right. <laughs> what would that be? Oh, what would have been helpful if somebody had told yes. me? Okay. I suppose it would it would have been really cool if somebody had said, um, you, you should save up more money before you go to Los Angeles. Because uh. I came here, as I said, in 1978, but I had like 1300 bucks in my pocket, which was gone after mm -hmm. first and last month's rent yeah. and a sandwich. You know, yeah. and so like I was ready to go. I had to get a job right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I expected that, but I was really, I was 22 and I wasn't stupid, but clearly I wasn't an MIT grad either. Yeah. And so I got here and, you know, when you're a kid, you're going, I got a thousand bucks burning a hole in my pocket. Yeah. And that's, yeah. and that's a lot of money. Yeah. Money. And I but mean, it not. was gone. Boom. Like that. Mm -hmm. And nowadays a thousand bucks won't even get you. First year month. to yeah. Los Angeles. Right. First month rent. Yeah. <laughs> gas. I mean, gas then was 50 cents a gallon or something. You yeah. Know. Now it's like $8. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. So you know what? <laughs> if somebody had said, I know you want to do this. I know you want to go. But if I were you and you, st if you stayed another year at home and you came out with $10,000, mm -hmm. that would have been helpful. Because um, you really, whatever you think it's going to cost you to come here to do your gig, or New York is even worse, uh, double or triple it. And, and I... I only say that because um, it gives you a little cushion when you get there because it's, it's a culture shock. Yeah. You know, I came in from a small town in Michigan, and if you come here from Iowa or Michigan or Minnesota or, or Manitoba or wherever, and you get to L.A., if you fly in and you've never been here, it's overwhelming yeah. how yeah. big this place is yeah. and the cost of getting around. and yeah. So if you're padding your pockets to you know, to go out and settle out, you got to get a job, which is harder these mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. So whatever you think you need to be here, double it. And okay. the more money you have in your pocket when you get here to get a place, so that you don't immediately, like I did, yeah. have to get a job right away to eat, which I mean, yeah. takes you Absolutely. out of trying Absolutely. to right. get yeah. right. And the longer that you can give yourself time to take classes and workshops and all those things that you can do when you're out here. Uh, ideally, I mean, if you come out here and you have a spouse who's willing to work and, and support you like you're right. going to medical school, that's yep. great. But most often you're by yourself and you should be. When you're a kid, you, you're unencumbered by all the other stuff. You can focus. You can be selfish. Mm -hmm. It's about you. It's yeah. about, you know. Yeah. So if you've got twenty, thirty, forty, ten thousand dollars $10,000 and the, lo the more you have to just finance yourself and have a place to live and eat and, and bide your time as much as you can until you have to get a job. Right. That's great because you yeah. can start working on yourself. Um, so yeah, save your Excellent. money. Good advice, man. Great yeah. question. Yeah. What are the three words that best describe you? Oh, let's see. Uh, handsome, handsome, Precious. convicted <laughs> felon. No, no. By the way, I went to my high school. That my my high school in Grand Blanc, Michigan, made me a. Uh, uh, a distinguished alumni last oh, year. Oh, congratulations! Nice. Thank you. And I thought they meant extinguished alumni. And my yeah. wife, my wife, bless her heart, she said, "Did they, did they run out of people?" And I said, yeah. "Well, Aww. I think so. I don't know." But I went back there and I said to some of my friends, I'm clapping and, "Hey, Rob, it's so great. Congratulations!" And I said, "Many of you don't know that I was voted most likely to be associated with the phrase, and then turned the gun on himself." <gasps> and I didn't get a huge amount of. I thought that was pretty funny myself. <laughs> <laughs> right? You yeah. gotta, uh, you need the right audience, I think. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Try it in a different, yeah. maybe. Like here, it might work. Right. Like here. <laughs> yeah, it dude, would, I've been there. Bro. It, would, <laughs> it would kill here, Yeah, Rob. it would kill here, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but no, three words, I would say um, happy, blessed, and positive. I think those are probably the three ways I would describe myself if I had to, because I am, I am as a result of two great parents mm -hmm. and three great siblings, I am a very happy guy. I mean, how can you not be happy? I'm yeah. doing what I love to do, yeah. and, but I've always been. I, I popped say, out this way. If you had said one of your words was sad, right. yeah, I would have liked just suicidal, <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, yeah, I yeah. just drug addict. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I am a happy guy. I was born that way. To coin Lady Gaga, I truly was born that way, and I am uh, incredibly blessed, and I have been since the moment I was born. Yeah. Really, I. I, I, my mother passed away a few years ago. My dad died about a year and a and change ago. And um, 
and I miss them every day. Now, I don't, I don't, you know, cry, but especially my mom. I love you too, Dad, but I really miss my mom. I, I love my mom, and she was so, like, our, you know, all of, I have two, a brother and two sisters, and she was com they're completely supportive of all of us. Mm -hmm. But so I'm very blessed in that regard, and I'm very optimistic. I mean, you, you, you also have to, I think, kind of folks who are in show business and you want to be a performer, you have to, uh, you know, all of the issues you, you'd hear about people in the rehab and all that notwithstanding, I think you have to sort of be fearless by nature and be a fairly optimistic person yep. to choose yes. to do this. Yes. Yeah. Because, you know, showbiz is rife with stories of heartbreak mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. people that get here and fall apart yeah. or they fall in with the wrong crowd or the pretty girl Which is very that comes easy here. to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. And, and, and it, it's heartbreaking. And, and I know how desperately people want to do it because I am one of those people. Yeah. Um, but so in my case, I would have to say that if I walked out of here and got run over by a truck, I would, I've, I've lived the most incredible life. Uh, and, and I'm just really, really fortunate for many reasons, not the least of which is I'm here with you guys. How's Thank that you. for a segue? Yeah. That was very nice. Thank nice you. button there. Thank you. Thank you. You do a lot of work. <laughs> With children, I, I love. He love barely children. does any work, but he. he no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I just buy them. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I work alone. Yeah. That's okay. right. No, that's right. Um, no, but you do a lot of work with children. Yeah. Um, if you could change one thing in this world to make life better for kids, what would you oh, change? Oh, golly. Well, the of course pat answer is world peace, but yeah. um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I if I could change one thing, I suppose that. Um, I would wish that every child could have two parents that, that love them, whether they were together or not. Um, you know, there are a lot of children uh, uh, whose parents have split up who turn out great, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but their parents both loved them. Yeah. And that really is important. I don't care if the parents are, uh, if you have two men, two women, I'm not here to judge about that. But if you really have two parents who love you, um, I happen to have a mom and a dad from the traditional family, and my son has a mom and a dad from the mm -hmm. traditional family. Um, but if, if there are so many children who don't have the benefit of two loving parents, yeah. and that makes a huge difference. Huge. Um, yeah. if, if, you, um, if you don't have somebody to guide you and somebody to, to, to uh, you know, straighten you out when you need to be straightened out, yeah. um, it, it's, it's an enormous burden. Um, and I know that now, having been a parent myself for 27 years, I know myself that uh, I used to call my parents all the time. And he say, had a kid when he was yeah. 13. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I talk to my parents every <laughs> single day. God bless you, honey. <laughs> I so I'm on the same club. Isn't with that you. sweet? It's and like, they probably just they're like they're they, my they live and breathe. You're the they're apple of their heroes. eye. I'm sure that your daddy just oh, oh he, he loves. Well, oh, of course. And all my sisters, but yeah. I mean, like yeah. my fa the family. Is See, like, it's the same it. thing. I and yeah. I miss my mom and dad so. It much. It helps make you fearless, like you were talking about, because you always have that that. Come home anyway. Yeah, right. Light is always on. You oh, always yeah. have a place. Oh no, no, no! no. What. So I, it does make you say, "What's the worst that can happen?" Exactly. Oh, my parents. Yeah, and and it, it, truly, I mean, my mom. I remember my mom and dad were saying when I was a kid because I was a big rock and roll nut, you know, and they would say, "Look, you can listen to as much Yes and Zeppelin and the Who and Tall and Genesis and Beatles and Stones, whatever you want, <laughs> even Iggy and the Stooges if you want." But rock you, sugar, rock <laughs> sugar. I was going to say <laughs> rock sugar <laughs> hasn't run around quite that long. Rock yeah. <laughs> That's right. Wow. So I, uh, uh, and they said, you can listen to as much as that as you want, much, much of that as you want, but you also have to listen to Prokofiev and Shostakovich and, mm -hmm. and Mahler and Debussy and Rachmaninoff and... Uh, Prince. Prince. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a great joke in Animaniacs about fingerprints. Uh, fingerprints. That's right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Depending upon the way you yeah. accent right. that. Yeah. So, and it was an Animaniac, so it's a family show. It's a family show. There you go. Um, so... But I and I did, and so now today I have a deep love for classical music, and mm -hmm. so I switch between you know the rock and roll station and the classical station on XM satellite, and crank up Mahler just as loud as I crank up. That's cool. Led Zeppelin. Um, Do you feel like you're the same kind of parent to your son as your parents were to you? Yeah, I think. Well, I think so. I mean, my wife definitely did the lion's share of the raising, as did my mom. In my case, my dad was off working, and she stayed at home with the kids, and we were really lucky that my wife was able to do that. And I think that. That uh, that which did your mom stay home with you too? She did. Yeah, you know it's it it, it it's not the norm anymore for obvious reasons because it's very expensive now. Most people can't afford to have one person stay home, and right. I totally get that. Yeah. But man, if you can, it's fantastic, yeah. because when you know that your mom is there, and when it, it's it's just it's the best, and and um, it it really makes for a terrific 
child. Yeah. When you have somebody who's able to be there all the time and say, no, 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 no. Or, come here, sweetheart, it's going to be okay. Or, that's all right. You know, you'll get them next time. And then your dad comes home and says, who the hell's been messing with my tools? Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's just the way it goes. But it really works. It really does. There's a reason that it's kind of worked that way for a zillion years, you know? Yeah. It yeah. really works. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about some of your new projects that you're working on right now. Well, um, thank you, Chuck. You I'm, it, uh, <laughs> I get to be a Ninja Turtle again, which is kind of cool. I was Raphael, as many of you folks out there know, for the original version back in the late right. 1850s. It was just <laughs> after the Lincoln assassination got the country back in mm, happiness. Very early yeah. animation. Yeah. And, uh, before so, animation. That's right, before. <laughs> the wheel, thank God they invented the wheel because it made the residual truck that much easier to get to my house. Yeah. So, uh, no, I did Ninja Turtles in the first batch uh, twenty, almost 25 years ago. Yeah. Well, a couple of years ago, Nickelodeon, which is uh, ostensibly um, um, Viacom, mm -hmm. bought the rights lock, stock, and barrel to Ninja Turtles for a big pile of money. Big pile of greenbacks. What? Greenbacks. <laughs> and, and so Nickelodeon auditioned for the new Ninja Turtles, and I got a call from my agent, and they said uh, they want to hear you come and you know, read. And I said, well, do they know who I am? Not because... I was, as the song says, I ain't too proud to beg. Right, right, right. Yeah. But I just wanted to make sure that they knew that I'd been on the first one because often there have been several iterations that have been less of a big deal mm -hmm. um, with you know smaller budgets and stuff. But often the new producer will not want the same people. And I totally get that. Yeah. So I didn't want to waste their time and, ha and get there and have them say, oh, well, let's just throw the old guy a bone. He's here, whatever. They call back and say, no, 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 we totally know who Rob is. We, you know, we know his work, but we want him to read for Donatello, our version of Donatello. It's great. So I got it. Nice. So 25 years later, excuse me, I get to be a Ninja Turtle again. You're going to be all four at some point. Just uh, work day, your way I'm, through. I'm working on it. In another 10 years. Another <laughs> 50 years, I'll get all yeah. four of them. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be 105. I'll Right. That's right. Come on. <laughs> now, now, just I, I know there's a bunch more, but I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. add one because uh, Jesse had talked about a oh, character. Oh, Gopher. Oh, the, the oh, yes. That, yes, we get to Jess and I, Jesse Arnell, my little baby brother. We get to do their flamboyant. Thank flamboyant. you. What a lovely way to say yes. it. Right. I like to say that we are two gophers about which there is absolutely no ambiguity about our sexual preference. <laughs> Thank you. <all. laughs> um, and you guys own a Did what you, shop? Or we uh, own an antique shop. An antique shop. An antique yeah. shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's great. So Jesse and I, uh, there were these goofy gophers on all the old Warner Brothers shows. They were yeah. incredibly polite, obnoxiously polite, so unctuous that you want to kill them. You know. And so we're like, oh, no, off you. Oh, no, off you. I insist. I insist. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Um, so Jesse and I just. How was that? Go you both, you know, you were Yakko. He was Wacko. How was that to reunite? Oh, it was, it was great. I mean, I just love Jess. What's not yeah, to love? He, I know. He's like, like, I mean, you guys, yeah. you guys, you guys, this guy right here and Jesse Harnell treated my little boy like he was gold. <laughs> and my son will never forget that. When he found out I was coming in to see you tonight, he said, yeah. oh man, I dig Chuck so much. He's so cool. Yeah, he you, is cool, You were man. so great to my son. Oh, they treated my little boy like, oh, Because the they wanted to go hang out at the Starship Enterprise, <laughs> yeah, you know, Jesse's yeah, house. Yeah, Jesse's yeah. house has an elevator. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what kid doesn't want an elevator? It's like a spaceship. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And so, you know, you get two guys with long hair that go, dude, I'm going to show you how to pick up chicks at the, at the Santa Monica, at the Third Street Promenade. And, we took them, and what was yeah, he, we eight? took them and taught them how to pick up chicks. So what would you do? A week <laughs> after, he's like, I got a check. Yeah. Wow. And like, I'm going, I don't even know what they're talking about. I have no idea. How to You're like, what are you talking about, son? Yeah, I don't even what know. What? What? You know, Did your you mother took to pity on me. You? If I were single, I wouldn't know. Uh, hi, uh, would you? you know, yeah. can I give you money to buy? Never mind. <laughs> um, so anyway, thank you for that. I, you got it. I'll never forget that as a dad. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, you get to work with Jesse and it's just, it's, it's just, you know, we're, we're good friends and I don't care if we're. We're 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 uh, flamboyant gophers, or we're uh, yakko and wacko. It doesn't matter. We just have a great time. Mm -hmm. you, you really do. I tell people I work with people who I would choose to be have at my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it doesn't. You walk in the door and it's like a it's like a surprise package. You open the door and like, oh my god, there's Jess. Oh my god, there's Jim Cummings. Oh my god, there's Frank. Oh my god, there's Truss. Oh my yeah. god, there's D. Oh my god, there's Jeff Bennett. Everybody just yeah, you just yeah. go. And that's why people give me a hard time of trying to keep this short, but I can't help it. People say, you like everybody. I do, because yeah. the people in our business choose 
to be here. Yeah. Well, and even though you and the Jeff Bennett's and Jesse and Frank, I mean, all those people, you are ostensibly in competition for mm -hmm. roles, but there still is that sense of family. And oh, that you're, totally. You, when Frank gets something you went in for, you're happy for him and vice versa. So there's not that It's not the same, you're right. Th there's not the, 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 the pretense, there's not the intensity of like a lot of on-camera stuff. And I have a lot of friends that are on-camera celebrities and they, and they do great work, you know, but it's it's really intense because there's yeah. so much at stake. I mean, I yeah. got to make a living, and yeah. I've been rich, and I've been poor, and rich is better. Yeah. But um, but still, yeah. And and I'll get jobs, and and other folks will get jobs doing the following. That is to say, I can do kind of a Barney Five, but the guy you really want, if you want it spot on, like you're channeling Don Knotts, and you call Jeff Bennett, is what you do. And right. so they'll say, No, what you did is great. We'll use that. Or they'll say, Oh. I'll yeah, but yeah, but <laughs> or they'll say, well, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll you should do really. another job. <laughs> or they'll come back later and say, you know, we did, we took your advice. We called Jeff Bennett. He was unbelievable. And mm -hmm. then they're grateful, so they give you another gig. Right. And then I'll get a job where I'll say, hi, this is so and so, and we wanted Frank to do this, but he had to sing. And he said, if you want a singer, you got to get Rob or you got to get Jess. Yeah. yeah. There's that happens all the yeah. time. Yeah. Where we'll pass the pay it forward and say, you yeah. know, Darren Norris is really the guy you want for this. Yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, Same Mark. kind of thing like Brad Pitt does all the time. Right. Brad does yeah. a George yeah. Clooney. Yeah. Right. You know, they just give each other a George is over eighteen five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, you no. guys are good yeah. like that, man. Oh yeah, and it does it it all comes around. It really is. You know, it's it's just it you pay it forward and, yeah. and people love to see yeah. that. And it, it really is a mutual admiration society. Mm. I work with people that are so insanely gifted yeah and you'd think they were like frank welker you'd think he was your roofer yeah you know the guy has Completely i'm not i'm sorry frank he's got two airplanes he belongs to eighteen thousand golf courses i don't even know the guy is really just a lovely man yeah but you'd never know that he was a lovely wealthy man because he's it's not about that yeah, yeah. he is about his craft and being a great guy and he really is a great guy yeah. Mm -hmm. Although when he's walking places, yeah. I've heard that like money just like falls out of his pockets and because he doesn't even know it's Frank, there. Walk That's by right. Frank. I tell Frank, you know, people say to me something about, God, did you hear that you know, Brad Pitch is going to get 25 million bucks for his next movie? I said, you know, it take Frank Welker two years to make that kind of money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> two whole years. Yeah. Um, what, so what else are you doing? What other highlights oh, um, are you doing? I'm doing I do all the Tinkerbell videos. Yeah. Bobble, right? I'm right. I'm a fairy. Mm. Mm. You've got a theme. <laughs> nice. You've got a theme fairy. going here. Yeah, I do. I've got a fairy and I've got goofers. <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a talking fairy. And for some strange reason, they decided that he had, a, had to have a Scottish accent. I don't know why, but that's what I'm doing. I did, did little talking fairy and yeah, then yeah. Bobble and Tinkerbell. I've been doing. I just recently did a table read last week for that. And we're doing Tinkerbell six. So we're working on that at the moment. Um, and Jeff Bennett plays my uh, uh, another <laughs> tinker fairy named Clank. And so I'm working on those. I'm doing a show called Happy Huggle Monsters for Disney. Nice. Having a great time with that. Um, Gray Delisle's on that, another just fantastic girl. Laura Jill Miller. Did, you know, uh, um, yeah, Laura Jill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's great. Fantastic. Uh, just so Hi, many. Laura. Yeah, just great. You know, um, uh, Anyway, uh, Happy Huggle Monsters. I'm doing a show called Tough Puppy at Nickelodeon. Um, constantly auditioning for stuff. And so I'm, you know, I'm really working. And then your really podcast. And my podcast, I do a podcast called Talkin' Tunes with Rob Paulson. Many of you yep. have been kind enough to listen. Yep. It's on iTunes and my website, which is robpaulsonlive.com. Nice. I'm, pr I'm doing more live gigs this year. I started doing them last year where I go around, you know, yeah, doing you're, my little you're all dog over the and place. pony show. Yeah, and it's really fun because I was thinking what about... What do you love about doing that? What is, what is you know what? I, honest to God, Stacey, the best part about it is getting to meet the people. I've done literally a generation's worth of work now. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of cool. I'm like the Barry Manilow of voice over. I, right. I appeal to <laughs> That's a good way old to people and young people. <laughs> yeah. So I go to do a, prof a gig now where I'm doing a live action thing and somebody will come up and, or, you know, a seminar or thing. And, and um, they'll say, dude, I was a turtle freak when I was 11 years old. And through high school and college, between drinking the bong water, I was washing <laughs> drinking the bong, wa bong water. Yeah. I would watch Pinky the Brain and the Animaniacs and the Tick yeah. and uh, uh, Mask and all these other things that you, you know, hysteria. And now, and then I started watching Jimmy Neutron and Fairly Odd Parents. I do that show too with mm -hmm. my kids. And now I hear you're going to be doing Ninja Turtles again. So it really has come yeah. full, yeah, circle. full circle. And the stories I get from people, and we all do. I mean, it's not just me, but you know, Jesse gets them and Nancy gets them and and and. Kath and everybody, you, you meet these people that say to you, uh, 
Mr. Paulson. And I say, please, you know, it's Rob. Um, but, you know, I had leukemia or my parents were going through divorce or my dog died or whatever. And you have no idea what Ninja Turtles or Pinking the Brain or Animaniacs or Smurfs or Johnny Quest meant to me. Yeah. And when you start saying, hello, nurse, you know, they do that. They just smile. <laughs> and often I get people that will come up to me and they start to cry. Yeah. They really do. They'll just say, can I give you a hug? And I'll say, well, sure. I mean, and they just, they start to just kind of. Oh, man. Because it takes them to a place that was both sad but happy you as a result happy of this escape. work that yeah. I did. Yeah. And I had no idea. And I, it's not just me. It's all of us. Mm -hmm. And we really, truly have no idea what an incredibly positive effect, by and large, our work has on people. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember meeting June Foray, you know, when I met her when she was 70, and she's 95 now. Wow. And I, I said, Miss Foray, if I close my, close my eyes, would you just say, hokey smoke, Bullwinkle? And it was immediately, I was transported back to Livonia, Michigan, eating Cocoa Krispies <laughs> in my feet, you know, footy pajamas. Yeah. And it's the coolest thing in the world. We want to know more about the charities that you're working with and your coaching because oh, that's, thank a, new, you. Yeah. that's um, a new endeavor, yeah? Thank you, it is. I, I, I had never charged for an autograph picture before and my wife and I kind of sort of calculated between Ninja Turtles and all the other stuff, I signed like 10,000 photographs and I'm happy to do it. It's, you know, the problem is when people stop asking. That's when it's a problem. Yeah. Um, but when I got, you know, when I sort of started this third act of my career, where I thought, okay, I'm going to get the website going, I'm going to start doing personal appearances, I'm going to be doing podcasts and all this stuff, and start to brand my, you know, my own brand. Sure. Um, I uh, I thought, well, I'm going to start charging for autographs, but I'm going to do it for charity. So now I charge. It's twenty dollars plus five dollars shipping and handling, and I split. Uh, I've done a lot of work with charities. Camp Willoway, which is down in I think Georgia for uh, uh, disabled children, and I've mm -hmm. you know been a sponsor of theirs and. Uh, another one for years ago called Goal Models, which is where I would, you know, they would get public speakers to go in and talk to underprivileged kids and kind of give them a little something to, yeah. to be uh, uh, jonesed about, really excited about. But on my website, I, um, I split all the proceeds of my pictures between uh, Operation Smile and the Wounded Warriors Project. Um, for a couple reasons, Operation Smile, for those of you that don't know, or, or you may, and, and you'll know more if you go to my website, it has a, the link there. It's a, it's, a, it's a group of sort of maxillofacial, maxillofacial surgeons that travel around the world uh, and just have to have their expenses paid. And they, you know, in, in, in our country, it, it's tough enough when you're a kid. And when you're a kid with a, a, a cleft palate or yeah. a, a physical disability, it's really, really hard. Well, if you take that and multiply it by a thousand times in a third world country, mm -hmm. often those people are sort of like treated like lepers. They're mm -hmm. basically yeah. thrown away. So these incredible men and women go around and repair these horrible, disfiguring uh, congenital defects so these children can smile. And you know, yeah. what, what we do is done to make usually children or even big children smile. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought it was a, that was a no-brainer. No or oh, no pinkia, as, a, as the case may be. Narf. <laughs> After that pinky Tourette's again. Yeah. Uh, and then the wounded warriors. My father was in the military for years. But also, irrespective of how you feel about the military, these children, and I, I, I use that chronologically, these kids, my son's old age and younger, mm -hmm. not children, they're brave children, but they're kids. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a it's an all-volunteer military that we have. And thank God we do. And these kids put them to choose to be there. Right. And it's not about politics to me. It's about these kids choose to be there yeah. Absolutely. And, um, and and real quickly if somebody wanted to find out more about it or they wanted to help absolutely way, go to my website go which to, is which is www.robpaulsonlive.com okay. and so you can get a um, an autograph picture and all of the proceeds 100 percent split, split between the wounded warriors and, and operation smile Perfect. and if you're interested now you're, we get 10 percent right oh i'll take care <laughs> no. yeah yeah um the the uh the the the, the Chuck and Stace <laughs> yeah. beer fun. We don't get anything. That was a joke. No, it's great. Yeah. You get something, and right. then you do yeah. something amazing. Uh, but for the uh, it is it is great, and it's it's great fun to do, and it makes me feel like I'm doing something. Uh, you know, instead of just taking from yes. this country, it, I feel like I'm doing something. Uh, I'm very patriotic, and I feel lucky just to be here. But and then the other side of that is that uh, uh, folks who are um, Working actors and are interested in, in private coaching, I do that as well, and all that information is on my website. Now, let, let me let me just say a quick quick little thing. Um, in the real world, people like Rob, and yeah. he may not, you know, say say this, but it, it, people like Rob don't really teach because I mean they they're busy and they don't have to. So the fact that you're actually 
putting in the time to do this, yeah. this is well, really, thank really you. special. Well, yes. and, and I, for a long time I didn't do it because I think teaching is a very special thing. Um, and I really, I really believe that in my soul. It's, it's really hard to take money from young actors to teach them how to do what I do. And I don't really do that. I, don't, I can't say, here's what I do. If you do this, you too will be mm -hmm. successful. Right. It's not right. a multi-level marketing strategy. Right. It's, it's show business. Yeah. But what I do do is offer information and how I do what I do based on real-time experience. In other words, you're not getting somebody who is trading off a show I did 10 years ago and Hey, I was the next door neighbor on Who's Cooking the Soup for six years, and yeah. now I'm yeah. now things yeah. aren't working work out at the every body shop. Single yeah. Day. yeah, so they're going to get people uh, somebody who who will have come from a session. You're going to get two hours with me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not for everybody, and often what I'll do is like if somebody says my parents want me to you know give me this as a gift, I say you know what, sweetie, this isn't for you because yeah. I'm going to charge your parents this much money, and you're not going to be able to use it. Right. It, it, it it isn't germane to your situation. Yeah. yeah. However, if it is, then I think I can be helpful, and you're going to get information based on real-time experience, and when I'm done here, tomorrow I go to work again. That's yeah. Same fantastic. thing with my personal appearances. If I go do a seminar somewhere, folks are getting information from somebody who's, who's walking the walk and talking the talk and living the dream right yeah. now. I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to be working tomorrow, next year, years from now until I decide. And, and I found that I really like it. Um, because I love to meet the people. Well, I, I was going to actually ask you that. I was going to say, yeah. why are you teaching? Well, because... I found that I, somebody said, you should try this. And Pat Fraley was one of them, okay. who's another terrific actor and a, and a great teacher, really great yeah. teacher. And I started doing it, and I found that I really like it. Okay. And so some of my students are starting to get work, and I'm finding that I'm getting a lot out of it, too. I'm not just getting a check. Yeah. I'm actually, yeah. you know, reminding myself of things that I need to remind myself of. So I'm, and I get to meet you know, people like we were talking about, Brian Stevenson and uh, Lisa hey, Briggs, really lovely uh, actors and actresses. And uh, um, uh, as I said, Lisa Biggs, Jen Davis, and and I'm working with a kid next week, Jesse Ocala up in, uh, uh, Incala rather, up in Vancouver. And, His uh, address is. No. Yeah. yeah, right. That's and uh, uh, just done some, you know, really lovely people, Australia and and. and uh, I do it on Skype or I do it in person. And when I do it in person, I'll take you out to lunch and we chat or dinner, whatever. Wow. Or if you want me to come to your house, that's, that's fine right. too. I, I mean, that right there alone is worth a thousand. Yeah, yeah but, but, that is. But true. I found that people get <laughs> really good information, yeah. you yeah, know, yeah. and they have questions, specific questions about how developing character and stuff. So I found out that I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And it really was a labor of love at first. And now it's become kind of like yourself. We were just talking between takes here about yeah. how much work you've got. Not only is this guy a world class player, singer, musician, but he's got a world class demo business yes. yeah. that kind of you go well this is kind of cool and now it's like wow and it's yeah. taken off yeah and, well yeah it's, it's it's crazy it's crazy it's and crazy. so i haven't gotten to that point yet but i found that i really liked it and now people are starting to catch on and mm -hmm. via the podcast and they like it and so i'm hoping to do a lot more of this live where i can do uh, that's great man. well kind of on that note of because you're so, you love giving back to your fans mm -hmm. uh, a woman named colleen Colleen Fielding? Yes. Is she from across the pond? I believe so. <laughs> oh, dear. She w heard that you were going to be on, and she mm. wondered if you would And we can't have you here without doing Yakko's Of World. course not. Give oh, my God. break. So, well, first of all, we think with that, with over 250 animated characters, we think you should write a Rob's World of all your oh, characters. Okay. But anyway, that's right beside now. the point. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> um, Colleen wondered if you would do Yakko's World, but as Pinky. Oh, Carly, what a great idea. You've been drinking again. How lovely for you. Thank you, darling. <laughs> um, this is yeah, for you, Colleen. Yeah, that's a great idea. So this is for you, Colleen. So this is a first time. This wow. Is a, this is a, a network Buzz premiere. Exclusive. VO oh Buzz exclusive. Oh, my gosh. Rob Paulson doing Yakko's World, written by Randy Rogel and scored by, I believe, Richard Stone. Um, only this time as Pinky. And it goes something <clears throat> like this. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic, Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Greenland, El Salvador too, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil, Costa Rica, Belize, Nicaragua, Bermuda, Bahamas, Tobago, San Juan, Paraguay, Uruguay, Suriname, and French Guiana, Barbados, and Guam, and Norway, and Sweden, and Iceland, and Finland, and Germany, now, and peace, Switzerland, Austria, Czechoslovakia, Italy, Turkey, and Greece, 
Poland, Romania, Scotland, Albania, Ireland, Russia, Oman, Bulgaria, Saudi Arabia, Hungary, Cyprus, Iraq and Iran, there's Syria, Lebanon, Israel, Jordan, both Yemen's Kuwait and Bahrain, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, Belgium and Portugal, France, India, Denmark and Spain, India, Pakistan, Burma, Afghanistan, Parliament, Thailand, Bhutan, Cambodia, Malaysia, then Bangladesh, Asia and China, Korea, Japan, North, Mongolia, Laos and Tibet, Indonesia, the Philippine Islands, Taiwan. Sri Lanka, New Guinea, Sumatra, New Zealand, the body and Vietnam, Tunisia, Morocco, Uganda, Angola, Zimbabwe, Djibouti, Botswana, Mozambique, Zambia, Swaziland, Gambia, Guinea, Algeria, Ghana, Burundi, Lesotho, Malawi, Togo, the Spanish Sahara is gone, Niger, Nigeria, Chad, and Liberia, Egypt, Benin, and Gabon, Tanzania, Somalia, Kenya, and Mali, Sierra Leone, and Algeria, Dahomey, Namibia, Senegal, Libya, Cameroon, Congo, Zaire, Ethiopia, Guinea, Bissau, Madagascar, Rwanda, Mayor, and Cayman, Hong Kong, Abu Dhabi, Qatar, Yugoslavia, Crete, Mauritania, the Transylvania, Monaco, Liechtenstein, Malta, and Palestine, Fiji, Australia, Sudan, North. Oh. Oh. Wrong. That's for you, no, sweetie. That was on the spot, on the just spot. so we know. Like, oh, thank so you. The My. whole improv advice, people, this is like the brilliant oh, example of bless your heart. you got to have it. That's with that amazing. said, man, listen, thank you for coming oh, out here and you, sharing buddy. with all of us tonight. We really appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you so darling. much. You're so sweet. You are pleasure. so special, man. You really are. You're a great thank guy. You, we love you are welcome here anytime. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Hi. This is Carl Weezer. I'm stuck inside Rob Paulson's middle-aged white guy body. But guess what? You're watching VO Buzz Weekly. You know why? Because you're smart. And you know what else? You'll get chicks from it. And, and girls will get guys from it. It worked for me. Well, not yet, but it will. So keep watching, because if you don't, you're stupid. But I mean that because I, I didn't mean that hurtfully. I'm so lost. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, be sure and join us next week for another episode of VO Buzz Weekly. Also, go to VOBuzzWeekly.com and subscribe. And while you're there, check out the SAG Foundation VO Summit 2012 at the Don LaFontaine Lab here Absolutely. in LA. Chuck is speaking on a panel there along with some other amazing people. Amazing event. You do not want to miss it. Yeah. And also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at VO Buzz Weekly. You guys take care until we see you again. And just remember, you, you always, always have, have time, time for a little, little buzz. buzz.